Oh, hey. <laughs> you fishing too? Um, yeah. Ease up, kid. We're on the same side now, remember? I know. Guess I'm just not used to it yet. We're not getting paid to kill each other anymore. We can just sit here like normal folks and catch some fish. You're a mercenary, right? For us, there's no such thing as friends or foes once that contract's paid. Yeah, I know that too. You, um, uh, don't remember me, do you? Should I? I used to run with Burling's mercenaries. Burling. Ah, yes. That woman was an army unto herself. Yeah, but you and your company wiped us out. My captain, my comrades. Every last one of them died in that battle. So that's what this is about. You have a grudge against me? I don't. Wouldn't be much of a merc if I held a grudge against everyone I fought. But it was tough at the time. I really liked that scruffy crew. All of us got along, even the captain. They were the best group I'd ever been with. After what happened, I made myself a promise. I was gonna get stronger, and someday I would defeat you and the Ashen Demon. But we're allies now, so you're gonna have to let that go, huh? Looks like it. But you know, part of me is relieved. I don't think I could have beaten the Ashen Demon anyway. Hey now, what about me? Or are you saying you could take me? Oh well, no, unless I try. By the way... For a regular guy just catching some fish, you haven't even got your hook on. Yeah, well, these old mitts aren't exactly made for tying tiny knots. Give it here. I'll do it. <laughs> Not half bad, kid. Thanks. People call you a legendary mercenary, but you're a lot less dexterous than I imagined. Legendary is what they call dead people. <laughs> I'm still alive and kicking, you know. Hey, and about what happened with Berlin, I'm sorry. The whole thing was just two minor lords trying to get the better of each other. If Berling hadn't come for us, we could have avoided all the bloodshed. But she came roaring in yelling that she would take us down and make a name for herself. My kid couldn't afford to hold back at that point. No, that doesn't make it better, but I hope it helps. What's done is done. You were just doing your job. I know that. Well, this is great. Having some trouble there, Gerald? I wanted to replace the clasp on my gauntlet, but I can't quite get the blasted thing to stay. Here, let me try. Oh, look at that. You got a real knack for these things. Thanks, kid. I'm surprised you've survived this long with those ham hands. Being a good mercenary isn't all about dexterity, you know. Besides, when you've lived as long as I have, your body just doesn't work as well as it used to. Trust me. You don't look that old to me. You can't judge a book by its cover. I might not look it, but I'm practically an ancient tome. 
Not to mention I've lived pretty hard. Might just be a gut feeling, but... I've started feeling like the goddess might call me to her side before long. Come on, it's not like you're at death's door. Besides, you really think the goddess would be calling you of all people? You don't hold anything back, do you? If the goddess won't have me, then I'll just have to make do in hell. Do you think you'd have any regrets if you died right now? Not one. <laughs> Except maybe living too long. What about leaving your kid behind? Can't say I wouldn't be worried, especially because that kid isn't exactly normal. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I gotta say, your kid's always real calm and aloof. Not one for emotion, huh? You're telling me, born without so much as a peep, that one. Just a personal quirk, I guess. Makes it tough to find friends, though. In that sense, I'm glad we're here. There's tons of young folks around. And maybe the kid'll take a shine to you, since you're both mercenaries. Who knows? I've been hoping we could talk more, at least. Is that so? I'm glad to hear you say that. Takes a load off my mind. Now you really sound like a dad. I was never much of a parent, but I do worry all the same. You know, I think we were meant to end up on the same side. Would you do me a favor and look after my kid? When you put it that way, it really does sound like you're about to die. Hey, it's possible. Tomorrow's never guaranteed in this line of work. I meant what I said. Can I count on you? Yeah. Sure. I'm not gonna refuse a dying man's wish after all. <laughs>